side of me. Everyone get on that side of me. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. All right. Good. Uh, Patrick, how are you doing? Um, we're going to find a partner uh, in just a second. The partner that you guys have, uh, try to generally keep, stay with them the entire practice. A lot of the time, uh, you're going to be hitting each other. Uh, uh, you guys are hitting uh, someone else. But uh, whenever we do like a drill where it's just one-on-one, -on -one, then use your partner. Okay? If you don't have a partner, we can help you guys. Um, everybody, the first drill that we're going to start off with is I want you guys to start one stick length away from the red line or the blue line. Okay, so this one or that one. Patrick is going to stand still. He's going to receive the check. I'm going to give the check. Okay? Whenever we receive a check, our stance is nice and wide. It's like Patrick, knees are bent, and the toes are pointed at me. Okay? I don't want you to turn your toes because Patrick hits me right now. And I get hit onto one foot. It's very light. So our point right now is just to absorb the check. So watch my toes. So I get back. I sort of turn my shoulder in. And when I receive it, I kind of just absorb the check as opposed to just turning my body. Okay? He's going to hit with, I'm going to hit with, uh, with my right shoulder, he's going to receive with his right shoulder. Uh, whenever we hit, guys, we aim that logo that's right in the middle of the chest, okay? If your shoulder can hit that logo, that's where they're most off balance. Does everybody understand that? That's where Patrick's most off balance, okay? So that's where we're going to aim to hit. Uh, where do you guys think I get a lot of uh, all my strength? Next to that, no, right? Next to my legs. Right to my legs. So what I want you guys to start with is always to set your legs. Setting your legs means getting in a wide stance, bending your knees, and turning your shoulder. If I want to hit with my right shoulder, gentlemen, look at me. I turn my right shoulder in, and I almost protect Eamon from my chest. Patrick does the exact same thing. Sticks are out of the way. I hit, okay, by driving with my legs, and then I push with my arms. Does everybody understand that? Okay, watch again my shoulder, and then watch my arms. Shoulder, arms. Okay? Whenever you push with your arms, you can't come up too high. Uh, you have to push straight forward. And whenever you push, you're almost pushing like in and around the hips. That's where we're mostly off that. Does everybody understand that, guys? Um, I want you guys to find a part really quickly. Line up across the blue line and line, line up across the red line. Three, three, two, three. Take that push you guys get together. You guys get together. Three, first guy, hey, everybody, if you're on that side of the line, you're winning. If you're on this side of the line, you're receiving. Everybody, put your sticks out of the way. Ready? Right shoulder. Look at me. Right shoulder hits. Right shoulder receives. How's this? How's this? I didn't even drive, right? Don't just set your legs. Get down low. And drive up and drive through. Ready? Same guy hits. Same guy receives. Spencer, give me a check. This is me receiving a check. Yep. I give a bit of a check back. This is me getting to go ahead and This is me getting pushed off balance, right? Everybody, as Spencer slow, give a little bit of a give a bit of a hit back. Okay? He's the one that's gonna drive you to the right, nice and low and nice and hard. But I don't want you to just receive it. You still got to be strong. You still need to be with a, uh, uh, with a lot of uh, uh, a nice stable stance. You still got to be able to hit him back nice and hard too. Okay? Then we check back. Same guy hits. Same guy receives. Other guy hits. Other guy receives. Left shoulder. Left shoulder. You're going to hit him back. Watch Jordan, watch James. James, got a bit closer. Go ahead, Jordan. Watch Jordan's hit. Nice and hard, right, nice and low. Hit with your shoulder first, Jordan, right? Shoulder's gonna connect with your, hopefully, your chest first, and then push with your arms out. Watch how James receives it. Go. Check back. I like it. I like it. Ready? Hey, hit him nice and hard. Hit him nice and hard. Go. Go. Alright, try to strike one stick length.
length away right now. This should give me a nice full stride and then I set my legs, okay? If I don't set my legs or if Patrick doesn't set his legs, then one of us is going to fall, right? We step in with a stride and then we set our legs, we get down low, we drive up, and then we drive through. Don't finish too high or too skinny. Still finish with a nice long, wide stance, but you hit, and use your shoulder to hit, and then push with your arms on the way up. Same guy hit, same guy receive. Check, we both get low and we both drive and we hit. We're going to skate to about the middle of the ice, so we're in stride. Before we come into the check, we need to set our legs. So we skate before we hit, we both set and then we hit right in the middle of the ice one more time at the top. We skate, we set, we hit, and then we finish up against these four. Half of the day behind Curtis, half of the day behind Patrick. Three, two, Break off. There you go. Nice. And you take forwards, you take forwards, and you go with your partner. Whenever you hit, you aim for that logo, and if he turns his shoulder in, to protect that logo, then he's hitting properly, right? But I still want you to aim for that track. Ready? Hit stand is still first. Roll. Right. 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 Push Spencer. When I push him, uh, I'm going to sort of keep my hands together. Okay, my elbows, my arms are nice and flexed, and I'm going to start down nice and low. I still need a nice low, wide stance, but just using my arms as if I'm doing a push, up, like a push up. I'm going to push on his hip. When I push on his hip, again, guys, just like you're doing a push up or you're pushing someone in the schoolyard, you're not, you're not punching them. You're getting a hold first. So you guys can use your arms and push it. Everybody understand that? Look at my hands. Hands are almost together. You can have two hands on your stick, but keep them nice and close. Spencer, do that to me. So give me a push. Yep. So start connected. Hands already connected. Yep. Just throw it. That's perfect. So you just gonna push. I'm gonna stop on my left leg. Do it again. Push. Stop on the left leg. Make sure you're not hitting with the stick. I want your hands a bit close together so he's nice and comfy. Okay? Get a hold of it, then push it. Okay? He's going to do that three times on the left side, three times on the right side, and then we're going to switch. He's going to push me, I'm going to push him. Okay? Ready? Let's go. First two. Push. Yep. Do it again. Push. Chest up, knees bent. You're going to stop on your right leg. You're going to stop on your left leg, Matthew. And you're going to stop on both legs. Okay, so one touch with your knee. Four times. Two times on your right leg. Two times on both feet. And then we'll switch. Arms together. Hard pushes. Let's go. Okay, we're going to the lower back. Right here, sir. On the back. On the back. Now, I'm going to pop the chest. Pop the chest. Oh, 
snug up against the board. The only time we actually get through it snug up against the boards is when I know 100% yeah, in stride, I'm about to get hit. I get snug, and Patrick's very likely he'll bounce off his shot. Okay? He can almost use the boards in that way. In the same stance that we were giving the checks in, we will receive the check. Okay, so Patrick's standing right here, and I'm giving him the check. Uh, stand a little bit closer. Yep. And I pivoted to backwards, which is the one that we're going to be doing right now. My shoulder is still aiming to the chest. He still gets in a nice low wide stance. His toes are parallel, still facing up by Same with mine. Time I get out, this is a good position where my toes are here. A lot of players can do this, aim in, and then my foot will sort of come back here. So Patrick pushes me from here, and I get caught off balance. I'm going to fall on my butt. So, everybody, we're going to look for this. Your toes right beside each other, facing up by and they're both parallel. Right now, I've sort of, I haven't done this with Daniel try a huge check. I've just sort of put Patrick into the boards and placed them out of the foot. Okay? When I hit, I'm aiming to the chest still, but it's stick. Patrick's trying to move your stick. You can't move it because it's snug up against my leg. Change. You understand that? Okay, perfect. When you guys receive a uh, the check and you just aim shoulder to shoulder, that's just very likely you can just skip right out of that. And so instead of you getting uh, uh, taking the man and then actually taking him out of the play, you do body check him really well. Body check him. Body check him. Body check him. We're going to do this a few times, making sure that the legs and your stance looks good. Uh, so you just going to check the legs and then later you're going to check each other. Half bit, half corner, half bit, three. three. Backwards. I set my legs, hit the boards, toes are like this, not like this. Okay? I don't check like this, I don't check like that. Make sure your toes are parallel, you're low and strong. Hey, cross your feet, set your legs. There, do that eight times. Amen. AJ, go. One extra 
looking at it now. Um, face this way. Right now, as a lefty, I would be poke checking with a forehand, with my forehand. Whenever we poke check, we never wind up, we only start through. So for now, I want two hands in the stick on the forehand. When you give the stick check, and then you give the hit, if your stick is in there, your stick's gonna get caught and be useless. So you get the stick check in, but the most imperative thing is that you get it back into the middle where it's free, and then you make the check. Quinn start back there. Watch how quick my stick is. Quinn stay fast. Go. Okay? Yeah. Down. Everybody, we still want a nice gentle angle, but I hit him hard, didn't you? So hit the guy hard. Quinn, you guys can stick on the knee. Stick on stick. Stick on stick. And a back in the middle. When I receive the hit, I still give a bit of a nudge back. Don't just go limp and take it. You stay wide and give a good check back. Everybody understand? Hey, on the back hand side, same thing. One hand is hit it back in the middle and then hit. Don't get your stick caught before. So, same thing. Go. 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 Good Curtis. Make sure you get the back hand. If I wanted to hit top cheese, top left, I would be looking at it and then I would point at it. This is what you're pointing with. And you're looking at it the exact same way as you wanted to hit top left. You're staring at the chest. Okay? When you try to be in a one-on-one, -on -one, you're always looking at the chest. You're never looking at the stick, right? Get that stick on stick in. I know exactly where your stick is and I don't even need to look at it. I can see it down there in my peripheral vision Spencer, but even as I'm looking at the, uh, at the chest. Everybody understand that? Yeah. Let's do the same thing. Same guy hit, same guy received. Just keep on the shoulder. Last one. Last one. Step off the board. Stay there. Go. Boss. Hit. Stick on stick. Good hit. Here's back up just a little bit there. Aiden. Aiden. How's everyone feeling? Good program, right? It's kind of empowering. By the time you're done, you're going to know how to give and receive a check. When I first went into checking, I was like, yeah, I can screw this because I had tons of legs and tons of speed, good hands, but I noticed that my head was down quite a bit. Now, whose head needs to be up? Whenever you receive a check, you need to be looking at him uh, in the same way that he's looking at you, right? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to split into four corners, and we're, all, we're going to hit, but we're going to work on angle. So, how do you properly hit? Standing here. You don't need to punch the stance, you don't touch it, turn around there for me. There'll be a line sort of behind me. Focus with your up, the dog, around the dog. I'm just gonna try to beat you down the board. My job is to push the pedals and then aim the hands into those pedals. Stay nice and close. Stick on the street and then go to the hip. Did anyone notice I missed my stick on stick? And I missed my head. Uh, whenever you go in for a check, you don't need to just do stick on stick, you don't need to just look at it, you'll flip it the car. Did everyone see what I did again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I stay close, start in the middle, stay good. When did I pivot? I pivoted at the last second. Don't step up and then pivot because you're giving him an open lane. Hold your head. If I pivot by the way, hold me. Step to the middle and it could beat me back. Instead, go ahead, pull. Watch my feet. I skate forward. I pivot. And then put him in. Use that back leg. Half here, there, there, and there. Get the lock. Okay, middle. Back hand stick, I sit. Okay, read it, read it. Now, now, stick. Right? There, there, there. Stick. That's it. Go. Now stick on stick, Ellis. 
right through there like a mouse, and he could probably take his puck. So make sure you get that shoulder and almost touch the neck with the chest still. Okay? The only way we, the only reason why we use that one is if the game is going to beat me, and I want to get that little stick on stick and then maybe get two places back to puck. So we're doing the exact same thing with puck control, stick on stick, body on body. Let's go! Let's go. On offense, I can be out 
Absolutely. You can be as physically active as the defensive player is. When you step in, the first option is to try to create a block. I'm going to be able to protect my puck out here. But if I just allow you to keep the boards, and my play is done. If I just try to feed him out wide, use my grip, and get behind him, and have to use it for three. But that is me initiating a push. Me initiating a push and driving to the net. If it should be playing it for about half a second before you drive in, and then they got to be picked back up again, or you're not going to beat them. You're not going to separate them. Another option is to stop on the back from the grip in a strong stance, and then cross out. And then when he ties the play from here, push back into the middle. That's me initiating the push. If I just initiate a push, that's it. We're just diving towards those points. Okay? Does everybody understand? That's stop, stop, stop. Let's go. Let's not remember, this is a very basic drill. If he's trying to get to the net, Steven, try to get the imaginary net, try to get that to that to red dot, uh, the red line over there. Go. All you need to do is this. Okay? Use your backwards skating stops and your edges, and just stay between him and what he's trying to get to. So that's the easiest thing. The extra thing is, as Steven skates in, and my eyes are on his chest, I can still do this. Don't just do that, because if you miss that, everyone's getting burned in these one-on-ones. Get the stick on stick, and then go for the body on body. One hug that, go get a drink. Good work. You guys think you're pretty good hockey player? Yeah. Pretty good. You guys think any of these guys are any good? Yeah. Uh, Rep plays OHL. Patty and Patrick play a junior A. The same at the game. These are very, very, very good hockey players. They have played much better hockey than I've ever played, okay? So make sure if they have anything to say to you guys, make sure you guys listen with open ears, okay? Because uh, they have probably more to teach you to this lesson than I do. Uh, Coach Sam, if you're good, here's the drill. I'm going to start inside the mirror. I'm about uh, this far away from the boards. So you go ahead and stand right there. And turn your back to me. So you're not going to pop your back to me. My job is to get a bit of stick on stick. All that has to give a bit of a push. My job is not to try to steal the puck. Not yet. Matthew, your job instead is just to draw a line. My line is going to start right here, and it's going to finish right here. That's about six meters across. You need to try to keep it inside of this corner. Okay? Well, you can't get out of that corner, Matthew. You can't get out of that corner. I mean, I'm going to try to kill him in that This is going to move back and forth, keeping his butt between the man and the neck, and the puck down to the end of the course. The rule, baby, is stick on stick, hand on hand. If he switches to that side, go ahead, go to that side. You bring the stick across first, then you the back. Okay, it's just going to be inside the corner. You guys are going to go um, just one group at a time. Just one on one. You go for a quick 15 seconds. The trainer will say out, and then you get the heck out of the zone. No shot just yet. Go to your corner. Let's go. Everybody make a line right here. Watch how Brett gives him a bit of a push. Go! Jordan is starting here. Jordan is starting to close to the boards. Don't want to stop. 
start this slow slow because there's no room for air. You can very quickly spin off and go that way, you can spin off and go this way. If you start with a nice low wide stance, and you can point to many, you've got about one arm's length distance. Now, if he tries changing direction, you've got room to bring your stick over the rim. Switch hands in the middle, the other side will do it, and then get a stick on step. Tries to switch, you bring the stick over. And then if you switch to the ball, you make the push. One arm's length is normally pretty good. So if you can get to the point where you can push the puck into the boards, and at that point, you want to try going for the pin. And then you can push. Alright? The only time we go for the pin, though, guys, is if you're nice and close to the boards and you're being nice and aggressive and you can, you can get them in there. Okay? Um, let's try it. Let's do it. Let's go. You're in there battling, right? You did a great job, you were containing it. You went to you got caught at the very end of the front. You swung for it, right? You didn't play body on body, and you missed it, right? So right through, like, okay? You guys are always giving me an option, right? You guys are giving me an option. You guys are putting your stick in, you guys are putting your stick here, right? Pick what side you want to go. If you want to go left, you're going to put your stick here. If you want to go right, you're going to put your stick here. Alright, watch. Go, go. I stick was there, so I go that way. If you went that way, go, push on the head. You went, you went that way, all you're gonna do is you're gonna stick over, you stick, and your head, your hands should already be at a center, right? Push, push. Pick what side you guys want to go on. Uh, objective is body on body. You're playing an actual game. The uh, guy, uh, team on this side, the team on that side, that team is going at that. This team is going on that net. And uh, obviously the main objective is to try to score. The second most important thing is um, to finish all of your checks, obviously. Okay, so here's what happens. I remember getting into my first uh, year of body checking, and there were these monsters, these guys uh, that uh, definitely knew how to give and take checks because they were big guys, but even the guys that didn't know what they were doing, um, a lot of them, when they were stepping in for these checks, guys, they'd go way out of their way to make a check, and then they'd forget about me, and a quick little hands or a quick little move, and then I'd be gone, or vice versa. I would be like, okay, I'm just going to go in for the check, and then he makes a slick little move, and it's gone. So let's let's keep in mind, we still want to see some Marty St. Louis type of moves, and some Stamkos, and some Dam uh, uh, Datsu type of moves, but, um, cool, uh, but you're obviously trying to stay between him and the net the entire time. You're obviously still trying to be very physical. Just don't go way out of your way and forget about a little bit of stick work and all that finesse and skill, okay? Um, give me half over there with Brett, half over here with me. You get ready to go. Besides the change of side, you go to the other side. You don't turn your back and try taking in this way. You change, shot up, face the man, and then attack him from that side. Everybody understand that? You never turn your back to the man. Who's ever heard of that? You never turn your back to the man. If you can't see, I don't know how you're supposed to stop him. Um, in the fourth step, Brett and Patrick are dumping the pucks in, and everyone's just slowly getting in there. The first guy, get on him right away. The second guy, go in and help and support him. If he misses the check, no worries, because the second guy's coming in, and he'll finish the check. And the other guy will get behind him, and he'll support him. And it's just always two on one at home. You're constantly supporting the guy. Okay? Um, and um, when you guys finish the checks, that's fine. Um, just don't go way out of your way. I'm seeing a lot of guys that are just forgetting about quick little moves and whatever else that we were talking about, and they're just going for the body check. Okay? Let's see a little bit of both. And let's see some big hits here. Let's go. Let's go. prepared for body checking next year? Yeah. Good. That's good. Um, guys, before you guys leave, make sure you guys give a high five to all the trainers in the way yet. And then uh, grab your water bottles and that's not bomb. Good job, guys.